it's probably the it's probably the roughest place you can be in Texas. Boys that come out of Angelina County are suspect. <laughs> That's a, that's a fire truck. I know I didn't do it. <laughs> Mama confess though. It's pretty, I could confess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my breath, is there kerosene on my breath? People used to talk about how the Angelina County boys got their reputation that they, they got. That some people, a lot of people talk about going all the way back to World War I. And, um, all the way back to World War I, they said, You see, more boys were lost out of Angelina County, Texas, than any other county in Texas. And Texas is three times the size of Germany. And in World War II, more boys were lost out of Angelina County than any other county in Texas. And Texas was still three times the size of Germany. You see, there were rough boys there. They worked hard for a living. Some boys with one eye, and some boys with flat feet. They stayed home from the war. They didn't go fight the Kaiser. And they stayed home and they worked harder to put clothes on their brother's wife and to feed their brother's children. The same thing in World War II. The boys that stayed behind were rough boys, man. And lost an arm or lost a hand and saw a meal, and they stayed behind in the war. They didn't go fight Hitler or Mussolini. They stayed right there on the river, and they fed their brother's children while he was off being a hero, or maybe he didn't even come back. The river, Angelina was just like the Trinity River and the Brazos River. It was covered with sugar cane, both sides. World War I, the government took most of the cane. By the time it grew back for World War II, the government was taking most of the cane again. There used to be these things on the Angelina and the Trinity and the Brazos River that were called pots, molasses pots they were called. They were big, long, flat barges with a cauldron in the front end of them. And they would cut the cane and they would bring it aboard that barge and they would grind it down and they would cook the sugar down in that cauldron into clear sugar, white sugar or molasses. And then they would find a secret place on the river and they would unload that sugar and molasses and they would go back up there and they would make money to feed their brother's children. Hard boys. I didn't take no guff. <laughs> You follow the Angelina River on down towards Houston and you come to the north side called the Parkers. And that's where the most famous movie star ever born in the state of Texas 
was born out there in the Parkers. It was a dog named Rin Tin Tin. He was born in the Parkers on the north side of Texas. North side of Houston, Texas. There were four other ones that were born in the same kennel out there. Old man John Props had a Comanche Indian wife named Janetta. They, they had four more Rin Tin Tins and they all got lawyers and they moved to California, those dogs. <laughs> True. <laughs> the Props family, the grandchildren of the Props family just uh, about 10 years ago won a lawsuit to get the name back. They ended up winning over Hollywood. The old kennels are still there. All grown over. It's something to see. And then the Angelina River goes on down towards Galveston. Texas in. It's like it wants to go to Galveston, but it can't because Galveston is a island and the river knows it can't go. Man, in 1951, if I was a river, I'd want to go to Galveston. There used to be a place called the Balinese Room out there on the water. Frank Sinatra, Sammy Davis Jr., Dean Martin, Eartha Kitt, Eartha Kitt, man. Man, if I was a river in 1951, I'd do almost anything to hear Eartha Kitt sing in Galveston. Then your river goes on down to the Mexican border there on the border where the, the houses are just like sugar cubes, little pastel sugar cubes with the squarest windows you ever saw and the cleanest linen. Never smelled anything like that clean linen in those windows down there. And in the backyard of that place, that little sugar cube house back there, there would be a tree. That if your grandchildren were to ask you, if they were to say, hey, Pat, or ma'am, what is that tree there? You would say, I don't know. I don't know. I've never seen anything quite like that in my life. Never seen a tree like that. It's the hardest thing for a grandparent, I think, maybe to say. Here's a song about. Uh, yep, Tasty Freeze here. Yep. Yes. Yeah, tasty Freeze. Well, some of this shit you have to explain in Michigan. They don't have no tape <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't even think Michigan's got Dairy Queen. It's so cold up there. They don't, they don't want no Dairy Queen. A song about two people in a tree here. 